of the book club podcast we're just talking about books in general and uh just general we're just free flowing we're just talking about books in general the books that we liked and i'm having a pretty good conversation with uh mohit wait i'll just bring him over guys I send you a request mo bro Hold up I'm sending you a request again yo or request for me for you to be a, uh, on the video mohit i'll send i'll send it again guys hold up i'm just getting mohit over hold up i'm sending you a request yo Yeah, hey, yeah. What's up? Yeah, I think all the bro, I've been there in the last video. You know, they allowed to join again, huh? Yeah, no problem. That's that's why I save it so that they get acquainted with like how we're gonna, you know, how the later episodes are gonna be. We'll do it. Uh, we'll keep doing this as uh, as when time permits weekly, right? It's a. Uh, I yeah. trying to get other guests too. Like we can do it. Uh, we'll see. Like I can slot them any other place also. But that's what, yeah. bro. Um, how much time do we have? Oh. we it's uh, yeah it's 8 uh, sorry 648 uh, right now 648 yeah. uh i'd want to continue but like i'm actually like running short of time okay fair enough uh, we can no no we can continue i want to speak a bit more we were uh-huh. going somewhere but i can no uh, we were going somewhere but like yeah we'll i'll try to wrap it up sure, but yeah sure. we was we were speaking about yeah uh, this uh, this one Circumambulation. Uh, Jordan Peterson. Yeah. Dis. Dis. Come. Oh fuck. What, what, how do you pronounce it? Circumambulate. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. Circumambulatory thoughts. Circumambulate. Or like interest. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no. Uh, I was uh, when at this podcast that uh, we had right uh, yeah. in the fitness podcast we got a psychologist. We were speaking about uh, Martin Seligman, learned optimism and stuff like that. Have you read those? Martin. Martin Seligman. He's uh, he's in, uh, now his books in the field of like positive psychology uh, is right. like uh, is like the thing right now. Uh, so that's that's also great stuff, bro. Uh, Learned optimism oh. is a book that I do refer in the group in our uh, group also. It's like a uh, very, learned optimism, is it? It became a very nice. It, it's an interesting. It's a thick. It's a bit of a you have to work around the book, but like as soon as the philosophy starts sitting within you, it's mm-hmm. like okay, it makes sense. It's like positive psychology, basically, and learned optimism and stuff like that. That is right, also right. very interesting. That is also very interesting. Right. Okay, let's get away from. Uh, let's do some random books. I don't know. What? Is, give me a random book. Uh, I don't know, man. Like I, I, I think we started off with that, isn't it? Uh, Blink uh, by Malcolm Gladwell. Yeah, Blink is nice. Malcolm Gladwell. Uh, he's a great writer. Yeah, he knows how to, you know, how to like put forth information. And Outliers is like, uh, is my uh, top ten easily because uh-huh. it just came at a time where like he just the book spoke to me. Right. So what about the way of the superior man? Oh, uh, David Data. Uh, Data. 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 Look, Deda. you can get uh, David Data's audio book uh, on SoundCloud. Yeah, yeah. By the, way. the whole SoundCloud channel. also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I re- heard it. I have, I haven't ever read it, but it's like one of the most important books for me. Yeah. But I've heard it. It was at a crucial time. I Bro, came back like, from some. There, there was this movement actually, like the uh, the way of the superior man is one of those uh, spiritual masculine. Yeah, yeah. You, you 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 were talking about uh, the the big dude Lebowski, the Lebowski dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. You you were the one who told me about that. Yeah, 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 the big Lebowski. Yeah, there is the, it's it's a legitimate religion apparently now. It's it's called Judaism. Uh, you know, the Judaism, yes. They, they they follow the practices of Taoism and they made it into uh, like it's it's uh-huh. like uh, Taoism light, watered down Taoism. <laughs> like, right, right. Like light two point two. Yeah, latte type. You know, you add. 
Yeah. Let's go, bro. Let's go to. Uh, I'm. I know we're just skipping books, but like that's fu- that's fun because like each book probably lead to another book, another yeah, concept, yeah. another thought. But yeah. what about let's talk about NAT Nicholas Nassim Taleb Taleb. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we haven't. If you don't address him, but like it's a big uh, no no yeah. for the podcast. Yeah. Yes. I have, I have all, all his three books. Uh, I got it like from a friend, man. I bought. All ah, the beautiful. Books at the start. Tell me. And. Uh, Dude, I find his writing incomprehensible. I know that. <laughs> definitely, <laughs> definitely, hundred percent. But it's somewhat. It feels like I'm supposed to, you know, like read this and reread this. But I can't understand anything. Like, what yeah, the fuck dude. is happening? Yeah. Like, I'm supposed to know this. The Black Swan, Anti Fragile. Yeah. Like some crazy, crazy. Are you? You understand the concept, but like really, when he opens his mouth, you're like, "Holy fuck! What the fuck is happening?" Like, yeah. I need like I can't understand this shit. Like, I need to come back to this book. Yeah. But yes, anti fragile. It spoke to me, but uh, I don't know if I am anti fragile as such uh, uh-huh. because of stressors. I don't necessarily work very well, like right. possibly everybody. But he sort of acknowledges so, something as big. Idea, by the way, like like he's giving you a model of how like yes, exactly operate in the world. Operate, huh? Anti fragile is like. Sort of like how uh, you know people declare uh, you know Superman, right? Like Superman, Superman yeah, like, yeah. Like you know, Superman is the idea, or Batman maybe. Like you know, something like yeah. the ideal you can like uh, strive towards. Yep. So, that's how I saw it. What about Black Swan events? He's a trader. He's Dude. a trader, right? Uh, what? He trades. He's a, he's yeah, a yeah, stock, he's a stock trader. trader. Yeah, yeah. He's a, he's an investor and a, yeah, trader and everything. Hold up! I've lost you. Yes. Yeah, he uses that like, like uh, uh, yeah, he's he's smart like that. He he's like one of those <laughs> bro uh, investors too. Right? He's like uh, what do they call like a very brash and like he's fuck you to the yeah, intellectuals he, he, and all that. Yeah, cocky, yeah. Like, very uh, cocky. Yeah, like, he's been known to be cocky, but like wow, like uh, but he used to have like uh, back in the day, right? He used to have arguments with Sam Harris, the <laughs> Yeah, on Twitter, man. I used to follow Sam Harris on Twitter back then. Yeah. Like, even they still do, but like there used to be like back and forth arguments. It used to be a lot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, like, like it's, it's why like, we sleep? Intellectual people, and it's like yeah, watching two kids fight. Twitter know? banter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Highest form of Twitter banter. Yeah. Oh, uh, any other random book that is yeah. Bro, in uh, even this one, bro. Uh, the negotiation book. Uh, think uh, never split the difference. His company never split the difference. Chris Voss. Yeah, Chris Voss's yeah? uh, negotiation company is called Black Swan. Inspired from uh, you know. Uh, oh, wow! Great, 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 great. Yeah. yeah. So, so in negotiation, sometimes there is something that the guy is dealing with that you have no idea about. That Black Swan. Yes. Mind, you don't know what it is. Like your oh. uh, negotiation skill is based on. Must be. You can extract that. And But so you you, you must address the black swan event basically. Yes, yes. Because usually, like uh, the black swan will uh, affect your decision making process and everything, right? So you, uh-huh. if you identify the black swan or whatever that blind spot is that we can't see, then boom, like you're in business, you know, like you uh-huh. have that. Uh, Fuck. Yeah, I highly that's good. recommend. Think uh, never split the difference. It's never amazing. split the difference is like like this. Yeah. Like that's one of the books yeah. I read it. And I go outside and I try what's in it. I'm like, holy fuck, this works! Yeah, I know, like, dude. holy it's fuck, magic. this shit works! Like, just intonate your voice and speak lower, and like, yeah. you're able to convince people. Like, like, I, I, I tried it out. It becomes habits in the end. Yeah, it becomes a habit, and like that, that book was so good. I'm like, holy fuck! I'm like, I have to reread it. Yeah. I have to read it completely before I reread it, but I got Dude, like. Uh, we should make a reading list, man. We should make a reading list for negotiation. Like, it should start with the. Huh. Should go with never split the defense. Then influence. No. These three. Influence. Three. Influence is number one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, influence. Influ- influence. Is putting it in the end because it's like that's a theory, right? The charisma means huh. never split the defense. They give you actionable, t- you know, what to do. Huh. The, huh. Once you put it into practice, right? And you start reading influence by Robert Cialdini. You get to know, like you, you get the background, like the back end development of what's happening when all of these happening. conversations are happening. Yeah, bro, we can go sit here and speak so much. I have yeah, to, like, done, bro. like, I have to leave. Week. We can yeah. do this uh, midweek also. Like, just coordinate. Let's tell me uh, okay. after six or whatever seven. If yeah. if it's impromptu, no problem. Let's just put in the episodes. Even if yeah. it's for twenty minutes, you want to just sit down and like have a talk about just books. We could Probably have like, we. Uh, you know, rapid fire. You know, whatever. Rapid fire or anything like that. Anything that's in your mind, you want to talk about. Also, we can do. 
uh but yeah let's like, since this is more of a less structured podcast than the other ones that i have this can right. it's this can go on how you are feeling too let's just let me know i'll uh, just if it's not possible let it be not possible there's no big worry about that like let's just put in like the episodes so that we can get to speak about books and if anybody who's listening who likes what we're doing and frankly yeah. i like what i'm doing like just speaking about books and stuff like that so that yeah. you know i get good recommendations and that's how like we you know we started talking and like our book club is growing especially yeah. also we we have a book club also guys it's a whatsapp group just messages right. or some stuff like that i'll send you the link if you want to be part of the group and uh, yes Yeah this was episode 2 of the Bangalore non right. fiction book club podcast not I'm fiction, sorry yeah I'm sorry that's a lengthy name but like yeah. uh, we got to do what we got to do like BNF right like BNF fiction club I have I have so many I have so many I have so many podcasts with like short and thing like I I have I did two three minutes to even think through yeah. nonetheless nonetheless we'll we'll do something Thank you, bro. Thank you. Alphabet podcast company, bro. We have like the <laughs> all, yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Right, the book club right. podcast, the Bangalore Lord Faction book club. Okay, yeah. nonetheless, fuck it. See you, bro. Take care. See ya. Yeah. Goodbye. Le- let's do something. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Gotta run, yo. See you. Thank you guys for joining us. Yes, thank you guys for joining us. Message us. Don't just sit and watch. Like, put out your thoughts and comments. Like, we'd love to like explore. new yeah. books too let us know what you're reading also okay see you guys bye bye good night good night yo